if you miss your train, yeah, you can wait another hour to get to another get train. Mm -hmm. I couldn't get an admission. Parking mm -hmm. a one year course, right? Doesn't sound really interesting. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Betty, and you already know what we do on this channel. I don't want to waste so much time. So today we have a guest in the building, as you can already see here. She's right here. <laughs> um, so today we are going to be discussing, we're just going to be talking generally about life in the UK, especially living in Wales. So I am going to leave her to introduce herself and we'll get on with the video. So over to you. Hello everyone, I'm Victoria. I live in Wales and I moved into the UK 2020. Never since then, I've been living in Wales. But my education during this period. Yeah, that's it. As far as I know, I don't really think that a lot of people of color living in Wales. So how has the experience been like for you? I would say the experience has been good. And you know, when you don't have many people of color, you know how it would be. Yeah. Especially where I live, it's really white dominated. But they are nice. They are nice people both mm. at work and in my environment. Yeah. But I've seen a lot of people of color in in schools, mm. around universities, around groups. Okay. So I can see like to some extent we've seen people of black mm. colour. Yeah. Okay. And what's the weather condition like? I heard it's like a lot colder in wales is that true or is just like something people say i wouldn't say colder i would say wet okay yes it's wetter because you can you can have like three seasons in a day it can be wet now mm. in the next minute it can be cold it can be sunny so something like that oh okay okay when you were introducing yourself you said you've been able to like further your education since you moved here mm. can you tell us a bit more about about that Yes, when I moved in, I didn't start schooling straight away. Okay. I was working and then I applied to some universities in, in the UK. So I was like, I don't want to use the word I want to say. Mm -hmm. I couldn't get an admission back in mm -hmm. Wales because they don't really sponsor nurses okay. in Wales. And I even applied for like sponsorship, but I couldn't get so. And the, the course I did, mm -hmm. the top of course I did, they don't do it in Wales. Most of the universities, they don't. It's not part of them. So right. I had to apply to universities in um, England. So mm -hmm. I was fortunate to get one in London. So I moved. I was trip, um, moving back and forth, Wales to Wales London every London. week. And mm -hmm. I was still working in Wales as well. Wow. That must so, have been like very, yeah. very stressful. So how did you cope? with that and like <clears throat> being married as well how did you manage to like go through the whole process um let me say the kind of work i'm doing is not a full-time work it's like okay. availability so it's when i'm available i'll go right. to work so i was able to travel during weekend to come to down to london, london. i will attend class from monday to tuesday okay then i go back then walk again then come back again wow. during the weekend mm. so it was like that okay but i feel like this is so much stress it's a one-year course right yes so why did you decide to go into full-time where you could have easily done online and like stayed mm. back in wales and do a full-time job as well and being with your family you know yeah i was thinking um it, like a person of face to face Okay, so you don't like online, online study. No, I right. <laughs> but online, I mean, face to face is more expensive. Yes, as well. yes. Um, I was because I applied when I, I'm already in the UK when I applied. Yeah. So I paid as a home student. Oh, okay. So the fee was a bit like lesser than compared to international, international students. So I was given right. the privilege to pay. Um my fee i can pay the half, half of it and then the remaining half i was asked mm. to pay installment time in mm. installments okay. so i just had to i had a plan i went to the students and um, yeah finished finance so i was asked to like how many plans do you want 
how much mm, installments, how many. Right. Yeah. So I, I told them probably four to seven times. Okay. So they placed me on seven times. So it was fixed. So they, they will usually send reminder every month. You have, you have this so amount to, to pay. Okay. So it was so convenient for me that way. Mm. So I was also working and then I was able to pay. It wasn't really easy, but <laughs> I did. Yeah, it. it's doable, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I also know that like you started your um degree course back in Nigeria in UI yeah. before you moved. So do you think it was a good idea to abandon that? I mean you could have decided to finish your um university degree in Nigeria mm -hmm. rather than coming over here and starting all over again. So would you say that it was like a good idea or I mean would you advise somebody to go through that process as well? Yeah, I would say if I had known about you know, I think I told you once. Yeah. I don't really I didn't know this route coming to the UK from Nigeria. Yeah. My yeah. first con um um conversation was with you. Yeah. I didn't know people would do travel to the UK. Mm -hmm. Like I wouldn't have got done that. I wouldn't okay. have got to, yeah. I would have attended the university back home because it's I see it as I don't want to say my own perspective like a waste of time. And it was face to face as so well. So it was face to face. You've i I've spent three years in nursing school. Already. I still have to spend four years again. Mm. So with the strike with the and strike and, and something like, you know it's so stressful as well you have to it's so just so stressful and mm -hmm. the year is just a year mm -hmm. and at most it's two years if you are doing it part-time so it's okay but <laughs> yeah it says what it says yeah. right another question what is the cost of living in wheels like like is it expensive <laughs> or is it like you know Something that one can manage with, like yeah, compared to because we have to compare to with England. England, yes. I would say England is London to be precise. Mm. It's more expensive than Wales. Living in Wales, cost Wales. of living. Okay. Although we have some part of Wales in Cardiff that is really, you know, Cardiff is capital city. Oh yeah, Wales. It's yes. expensive as well. But okay. if you move to the rural part, mm -hmm. Oxford is not that expensive okay yeah for example if you, you can still get like a two bedroom three bedroom apartments ranging from 600 of what 600 so, pounds no. for two bedroom yeah wow you can still get <laughs> okay but it depends on the landlord it depends on the, on the location on the location the well. yeah. okay right and um how about like assessing um public transports is it uh, with tickets is it expensive mm -hmm. compared to let's use london as a case study because you've lived in wales and in london yeah. so which would you say is like more reliable and less expensive i would say london is more reliable because you have varieties mm -hmm. but in wales you are limited to certain um, number of buses. transport system but we have buses we have um, trains as well mm -hmm. but if you miss your train, yeah, you can wait another hour to get another to get train. In. Sometimes can stay longer because they often do cancel train train time. Okay, which can be which can be really frustrating. So I would say transportation in London is so good because mm. when I le you know I've never lived in London before. So when I moved like for yeah. schooling, yeah. It was a whole new like environment. environment, new system to me. I I enjoyed it because I was able to. I can move anytime I want. I can get, mm. but in wheels you have like limited. Yeah, it's it's, yeah. it's the same as um, where I used to live as well <laughs> before I moved to London. Yeah. Um. How about the prices of buses? Because in London it's like one pound sixty five or. Oh, pounds wheels is way more than that. It's way more than. So that. for a single ride. Is about how much for a single right like single for example you might not know this location probably from my house to where i work it's yeah. like four pound fifty wow that's for single but if it's return um ticket. tickets you can get it for six pound 99 okay. but there's also um a whole day ticket Okay, so you can get for nine pounds regardless of where you're, where going, you're going for a whole day. You can just present bad. that ticket. 
So I usually go with that. Yeah. Okay. So it's definitely more expensive. It's more expensive compared to London. Yeah. How about like assessing um African, you know, African grocery shops and African foods and all that. Are there places that you can as well, like varieties that you can also get things like that? Yeah, there are places in Cardiff that you can get things. Is it only limited to Cardiff? Yes, it's limited to Cardiff because that's where you have most of other ethnic, ethnic, ethnic groups, groups in okay. Cardiff. So you have to travel all the way down to Cardiff when you want to get like yeah. if you are, if you can drive there. it's so easy for you. Life is so easy if you can drive. Mm. Because everywhere is connected in wheels as well. Yeah. Because where I live to the capital city is not far. It's like um, 15 20 minutes drive. Right. Right. Yeah. But if you take the bus it takes forever. Mm -hmm. Because it keeps stopping at each Bus stop. Bus stop. So and you have okay. to like spend over 15 minutes going to Cardiff. <sighs> it's just so stressful. Yeah, so so it's, it even discourages you from from like from going. going. <laughs> if I come to Wales now, where are the places that I can visit? Um, do you have a lot of recreational centers or is it like a village? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, like places that one can visit um, during my stay in Wales. Yeah, there are lots of places that I can. I love beaches. We have the National Museum, which is very big, huge mm. museum. And there's the National Museum, there's Welsh Museum. Museum. Okay. Yeah. You have places that um, they keep ancient stuff, mm. the ancient um, let me say artifacts. Okay. Apart from museums, museums okay. yeah, you can get a um, place like that there. And then the parks. We have got parks. Mm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't sound really interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so can you like give us a brief um you know story time, not really story time, but mm -hmm. just a brief of how your migration process mm -hmm. went, like from moving from Nigeria up until now. Yeah, I actually wanted to come to the UK to school. Okay. That was the plan. Mm -hmm. But when I heard about another route coming into the UK through walking that you can actually walk yeah. as a nurse in the UK so I started the processing I did my health but it was not good mm. so and then immediately when I did my health I got married okay so I was able to move in after my husband came in came so in. through that route okay. so I was able to get it tier to dependent dependent visa. Visa. right so when I came in I, you know, I've not done the IELTS and stuff, so I had to seek for a job, not just to to stay at yeah. So I, I was able to get a job in with a nursing agency in critical care okay. and complex care. So I was doing that, and then I applied to universities. I got um, the admission. Mm -hmm. I was doing that up until working, going to school up until last month mm -hmm. then i finished my course last month oh nice nice so and then immediately before then i, I sat on my IELTS okay which i passed i passed my IELTS congrats yeah <laughs> i did my cbt last year actually right i so did my cbt, CBT since last, last year. year yeah before i resumed to school school i did my cbt okay and yeah so and then i'm trying to do my own skin Mm, okay, I yeah. wish you all the best. Yeah. And um, okay, so I know that a lot of people have this notion about IELTS specifically. Mm. Like, is um, people will tell you, oh, it's better to take your IELTS in Nigeria other than coming over to the UK to do it. Would you say that it's the same or it's different? Like, the system is different in doing your IELTS back home like in your own country and compared to doing it abroad is it the same or a little bit of differences in it in my own opinion it's the same it's the same structure it's the same question, question. even the speaking the speaking is the same criteria okay. it's the same criteria and i just think it's um about preparation for high mm. it's not as if um the questions for nigeria is different from the questions you'll be asked in abroad no it's the same it's the same 
finally what would you say about like job opportunities um in wales would you say there are a lot of job opportunities you have it i mean a lot of choices, choices of varieties of jobs that you can choose from or like it's just very streamlined and you don't really get a lot of job opportunities as well as the pay is the pay great or i mean it's just there i can only speak for myself yeah from what i've seen i think there are a lot of job opportunities it depends on what you want to do actually in healthcare we've got different sectors sectors in healthcare we have a lot of um agencies like care agencies that you can work with nhs trust different factories um even if you want to be um, a self-employed person you can yeah. set up your own business there yeah okay. it's there but the question is that are these jobs easily accessible yes to of people? course yes it's easily like, well you can just go online and apply for a job yeah. my first notion was like you know when i moved in i was like yeah. i would like a job i don't have any mm -hmm. experience but when i i started searching for jobs i applied through indeed and all those yeah. and so i was able to see the job description i was able to see what, what i can apply for what i can do yeah lots of them i received a lot of calls from um employers. employers so i was asked question on what my experience my experience was in nigeria mm -hmm. and what i can do in the uk so there are lots of jobs yeah you can get jobs yeah mm. and um students yeah from nigeria and other parts of the african countries coming into the uk they are able to get jobs, jobs even well. as um students they're able to get jobs they demand they is so dem they are so demanding they need people mm. to work for them most, most especially care agencies yes. they call you every day huh? you are available for work yeah. yeah and you can even it depends on what you want to do actually yeah okay depends. so um which part of wales is more like a student community say a student is trying to come into wales now and is looking for a university where you know there are a lot of um people from diverse you know ethnic groups mm -hmm. and they are looking for somewhere to study which university has like a diverse yeah i get what you mean yeah i would say university of community. south wales okay because we've got like three campuses there's mm. two in where I live, close yeah. to where I live, yeah. and one in um, Cardiff. Okay. So we've got a lot of people from different parts of the, the world, world coming to University of South Wales yes. and also okay. Cardiff, Cardiff University. University of Cardiff. Yeah, and recently I've been because I have I've seen people coming to Swansea to Swansea is in North Wales. Okay. No, not North Wales. Another part of Wales. Another part of Wales. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's North or South Swansea, but it's a bit far from where i'm staying mm. like it's far from central from wales. the central or south wales okay. because cardiff is in south southern south part of wales okay yeah okay um i think um we've been able to like i mean discuss and yeah. have a chat about like, wales is not that dry living <laughs> oh well tell me about it it's not that dry we'll see when we come and visit wales anytime <laughs> okay so um thank you for your time i really do appreciate having you that here and i hope you guys have been able to pick one or two things from this little chat thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye